ZVI band, but to answer your question, you know, to make sure we keep in touch with people, you know, on a regular basis, it's clear the possibility that these days, either with LinkedIn or Google alerts, or something like that, just to hide some kind of price and stuff from Thymus or ZVI band, well, you're right, it's the lazy man's focus to be able to say, hey, what can I do for you, and maybe there's something I can do, finding out where you can add value and doing it proactively for them has become a completely different experience, ZVI band, we mean look, you know, push comes up, you know, you say, hey, I want to, you know, 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 continue high priority contacts at least once a quarter and these have a lower priority once a year. It seems to be based on the observation of tens of thousands of people in contact. It seems to be a good general baseline, and then it can be optimized from there. ZVI band so, yes, I think the most important thing about social media is to use it as a source of information. Then identify what relationships or what's going on with people that are important to me. And then make sure you go beyond what's said here or there. ZVI band what else does relationship marketing focus on? How can I develop my business or achieve the goals I'm trying to achieve using the relationships? I've already established, you know, what we often miss is that the best and most valuable relationships are usually those to which we are already connected, you know, those related to networking, ZVI band this is the point of capital strategy, and every point, you know, is not revolutionary at all, but it is, can you do it consistently? So, for example, start with, you know, can you block the time on your calendar, or find a way to do it over and over again, whether it's having memories or triggers or something you do regularly, back to our point, hey, if I had 100 people, how many times do I have to be in contact with them? Well, you know, of course, since you prioritize relationships, those that have a higher priority and, hopefully, those that are fewer in number, you can spend more time doing it, they're thinking about, you know, the more the act of going out and building new relationships, right, they know if it's a link to people on LinkedIn or away, you know, to walk into a poorly lit room or a conference CEO's ballroom and exchange business cards and try to establish new relationships, I mean, there's a part of this book that seems to come out of all this. You know, our intention is to help people rebuild these social skills, right? I don't necessarily know my neighbor as well as I do. So, I mean, when most people think of CRMs, they do it in a sales context, usually a transactional sale, right? I'm trying to get someone from one end of the funnel to the other to be a customer or totally disqualified. And that's it. John Janswell, one of the things that has made me laugh in the last few years is because, as you described, there's a kind of relationship that I think there is. And my father was a doorman. You know, a saleswoman who had her book keeping. John Jans, I mean, how do we get there? Because that's the basis of my question because it's hard to maintain those relationships. ZVI band, yes, of course, we are much more interested in the topic that has just arrived because it could be a deal tomorrow than a former customer who may not do business with us for three or four years. So I'm much less likely to be interested. John dance well, and that's interesting. You use the word lover several times, and I wanted to ask you precisely because, I mean, I think everyone knows, let's be honest, we have so much time on earth and we want to make sure that, that we focus our efforts on the people who can not only give us added value, but also on the people we can serve, the people we believe we can help, the people who give us a lot of energy.